Hello and welcome to the Cosmcast. Today we're looking at the Lapis Steamfish Submarine. This is one of three possible designs, different colour variations of the Steamfish Submarines available for crafting via Guild of Stars and of course all the mats you needed for them. So we're going to be looking at the Lapis one today which is blue. There is also Ruby and Platinum which is basically red and white. So we've got red, white and blue. Uh, there is also a Copper Steamfish Submarine but you can only acquire that through the event via Lifeguard tokens, uh, of which we actually mentioned in a previous video, which will be an annotation link. Sha. Sure. So, today we are crafting the Lapis Steamfish Submarine, and uh, to make this, you're going to actually need a solid shaft, a buoyancy controller, uh, fine leather, fine uh, lumber, and you're going to need a blue pigment because of the uh, coloration of the actual thing, so you're going to need white pigment for the platinum one, and uh, red pigment for the ruby one and also you need this which is 250 gilder stars which is the actual design now fortunately a friend of mine who doesn't want to be named uh, actually got me this uh, actual design and sold it to me half price so but you're looking for about 1000 to 1500 gold hereabouts uh, to actually get this sign with gold or obviously the 250 Guild Stars. But we're going to look at uh, actually crafting this very quickly, and now we're going to show you what it can do, and pretty much have a little bit of a rant as to whether or not this is worth it. So hopefully you enjoy. So obviously Steamfish Submarines have been nerfed uh, since their initial debut in Alpha, and obviously before that on the Korean version. They were supposed to be fixed and made, you know, interesting enough to to actually want one but not overpowered because apparently they were destroying boats they made boats completely useless um you know and it messed up quite a lot of the korean game by making them overpowered because you know, if someone had a galleon you could take it out with one submarine but i think they've gone a little bit too far because yeah you need a freaking army to take down a ship now yeah or a decent graded ship and the problem is now they've made this amount I think it's lost some of its appeal, personally. It's nice to have this thing regardless. Like, I, I love the design of this. Like, this is a fantastic thing. Like it's very fluid. The animations are beautiful. Yeah. And it is, yeah, it's it. quite slow, but we can increase this you know, by maybe 10 meters per second or something with all the fins and things. But even so, I mean... I still don't want to be a mount. Yeah, being a mount is just a really unusual option them to choose like if you if you consider the fact that honestly it's the lazy way of making it so that radars can't find you that's the only reason if you think about it but then again they could have used the car system because cars aren't visible on a radar either so but they're a vehicle there is literally no reason why this if you would have thought a submarine would be a type of vehicle absolutely but for some reason it's a mount and there are several things wrong with that i mean apart from the fact that obviously i can just do this whenever there's danger, which is a bit stupid. You know, like, it's, it's a mount. I can just go and res this at a, um, a thing. Let's I don't... Have a race. Let's have a race. Let's see. It says... Yeah, you just you just res it at a mount place, which doesn't make sense. So we're having a race? Yeah. All right. So as you can see... I mean, I don't know how fast you're moving. But... Barely, barely keeping up with me. Five meters per second now we've... If you consider that she's got swim fins on, what, how fast are you going? Like four, three, or something like that. But if you were to use Moo Moo, uh, her ca a, a pet cow, which gives her movement speed, actually, I'm not sure it works in the water. It might do. Um, I don't know. Let's try it. I know that. Moo um, Moo just goes down. Though. Yeah, it's the other pet that you can oh, get. But yeah, you can get a title that increases your swim speed and all that stuff. It doesn't seem to stack anymore with uh, the swim fins and stuff on the mount, which I don't like, honestly. It used to be the fact that when this was a vehicle, you could increase the speed of the submarine by simply having swim fins and buffs and stuff and, you know, swim speed potions and uh, the title, the the pirate title. Right? But the, the biggest problem is that without an oxygen tank on this, this is completely useless. Yeah. Like, we could go do a run now and we would still probably get annihilated by just yeah. being on the surface. Because we, we can't go down here for very long. Yeah, so. I mean, like, right now, I'm guessing it's useless. Why is there a red here? I have no idea. But anyway, as you can see, it's 5.5 meters per second. What I will say is that this 
um, which you can get the version of from doing uh, Dehuta, the weekend dungeon. I mean, well, let's have a look at how fast this is. You know, this is 5.5 .5 as well. This is as fast as the submarine that I have that I've just spent all that gold making. Only it can do this off the bat and go up to 8.3. Now, granted, you can't put a trade pack on your back for this and go the same speed. It doesn't work like that, I suppose. But, you know, <laughs> it didn't need to be a mount is what I'm trying to explain when there are mounts yeah. that already fulfill that role. But a tall tip on this is rather entertaining because uh, it says this mount enables rapid travel underwater. Equipping it with different gear gives it different special skills. Now, the special skills that they're referring to, which is something I can just check out for a moment whilst Rose uh, AFKs for a second. Uh, over here at the... I can actually make uh, parts for your submarine to make it faster. Now the interesting thing about this that's really confusing is that you can actually craft parts of the submarine in the game. Um, the reinforced tail fin for example. However it uses something called the reinforced tail fin frame which when I look for it to try and craft... Uh, oh actually it's here. It requires a... it's really bizarre. It says reinf... oh it doesn't exist. See look there is no way of crafting it. That's the really unusual thing about this. It's like reinforced tail fin frame to make a reinforced tail fin, but the frame itself is not available on Mirage Island or anywhere, but requires like cloud spun fabric, 10 copper ingots, a rainbow polish, which is 40k alchemy, 3 dragon essence stabilizers, like, what's that, 50 turmeric, 50 aloe, 10 sparkling shell dust, which is from crushing abalones, and 10 beech nuts, and 40k alchemy, just to make that. All right. And then alloy combiner, which is used for cars and stuff, which is gold ingots and iron together. Then copper ingots and cloud spun fabric. And then that weird fin thing, which is not even bloody obtainable in the game, from what I can tell, unless somebody can find it. I had a good hard look. But what's amazing about this, what's hilarious, is that if you go to the marketplace, you can just buy the damn thing to give it 5% swim speed increase for 800 bloody crystals. So they've put a way of actually making it faster and giving you that extra swim speed. But as far as I know, this reinforced tail fin frame cannot be even obtained in the normal game. That item does not exist. And to craft like the one up from that requires two more of those tail fin frames and 50 hammers. And then there's one finally that gives it a 10% movement speed increase underwater. See what I mean? Like this doesn't... I don't know. It, it it kind of annoys me a little bit that you go through all of the money and hassle to make the damn thing and all in all to actually make it usable as a submarine in the first place you need to spend another like 2k to get an oxygen tank let alone all the fins and stuff to make it worthwhile. I cannot with good conscience recommend this. It's really nice if you want to have one and I'm sure they'll listen to feedback constructive or otherwise and that's really what this is I feel that they need to make it not overpowered in terms of you know blowing stuff up but the idea that it's worth it's being more functional, it's being functional no, no, to no, the value word. yeah it's uh, being functional to the value that you have spent on the materials ingested into it this was my major complaint the other day about the nerfs to my Comet Speedster the idea is that I spent 16,000 gold which is a lot of real life money as well on that thing, yeah, to craft it. Now, they're trying to compare it to, uh, trying to, sorry, bring it in line with other forms of pack transportation. Well, that shouldn't be the case. The thing about the car is it's fast, so you can get things done faster, right? It still has a limitation of labor of 5,000 cap uh, on patrons, yeah? You're not going to be able to deliver more packs than another patron. You're just going to be able to deliver them faster, yeah? So nerfing that literally made no sense at all. Nerfing a submarine for combat purposes, yes, I completely agree. On the alpha servers and before that, whatever, they were overpowered and they ruined quite a lot of the Korean enjoyment in the game and a lot of people found that unacceptable. However, nerfing it and turning it into a mount, removing the ability to actually be usable as a submarine off the bat and having to spend more money than like 2,000 gold is not acceptable, especially when you've saved up 250 guild of stars and all the fucking materials for it, including Thunderstruck trees, which are overpriced. Like, yeah. it's silly. It really is. I mean, I, I don't get it really, because... 
to laugh. <laughs> I don't, I really just don't get it. I mean, like, it does kind of look like a mount, but I, I won't call that a submarine. Why would, would you even call that a submarine? I would just call that a fish. Well, uh, it's not a submarine if it has no way of enabling you to go underwater for long durations of time. Exactly. Isn't I mean, that like, the idea behind a submarine? A submarine is supposed to be able to take you to low and deep depths of the sea. That is not a submarine. That can take you down, but you have to come up within seconds. It's a submersible, but even on modern day submersibles, they allow you to breathe underwater. Exactly. I mean, you've got to work extra just to get the thing air, pocket, uh, air tanks just to, so you can go submarine. Then it wouldn't be a submarine. It's the flat submarine. out movement, though, 5.5 .5 or 5 meters per second out of a, off, a, off a bat without upgrades is unacceptable. I think it should be 10 to 15 without upgrades, and then those upgrades being as expensive as they are, keep them that expensive. Just give you, like, maybe make it towards 20 underwater. Because the idea behind un the uniquity of this mount would be to make it the best at its area yeah you don't make a boat to be overpowered by a carrot dash that's silly yeah it's it is that way you know carrot dash is overpowered for some reason and it's it's a very controversial subject and that's how they intended it whatever but at the end of the day each vehicle each mount or whatever you want to call them if they're built for a specific purpose they should excel in that specific area that's the reason you purchase one currently no one will be wanting to build this steam fish, yeah? Mm. Once they realize how unfortunate the nerfs have been to this thing, it's not going to... Besides, like, what have they really changed? What have they really done to make this mount, as we'll now call it, what, what, what will they make this mount... What makes it a benefit over, say, for instance, doing the hooter and getting the dolphin, or, you know, waiting until the next event comes around and getting the dolphin, cyan fin from... The, the uh, I really don't see the benefit, to be honest. It's I mean, nice like, to it have, just, but... It's nice, it's nice to have. I mean, I, I, I just want one because <laughs> it looks pretty neat. But I don't really think slaving away getting gold just enough to get the materials and whatnot for it is yeah. worth it at all. I mean, like, it's not going to give you back the, the gold you've spent on it. And the most, the, like, the other, the rest of the gold that you're going to spend just for the upgrades... <laughs> I mean, like, it gives you a purpose of what to do in the game. I mean, if that's the target that they're going for, then okay, cool. But still, there's too much to upgrade on it, so this, that's just going to make people bored. Yeah, but even 10 meters per second, this thing is still not going to be as viable as a clipper and just avoiding the parts. I mean, like, I would say that you shouldn't have to upgrade it on certain things. I mean, like, if it's a submarine, then it should be able to give you, without upgrading it, the ability to stay underwater. Okay, this is my honest, constructive criticism for you. If you are going to make it a mount, right, make the stuff that's obtainable actually obtainable for a decent price instead of me having to go onto the marketplace and buy a fucking fin for it. Because perfectly honest, that is pay to make the the thing is actually usable. You know, it's not pay to win, it's pay to make things usable. It's taking the fun out of the game for the simple excuse of microtransactions. Now, they've cut down a lot of stuff, however, they need to cut down a lot more. If you're going to want people to keep playing this game, you have to keep the enjoyment factor there and make it so people can work towards your things. Yeah, not just simply swipe a credit card and get what they want all the time. Now, this currently has no purpose in the game. And I cannot re recommend anyone get it other than to have a bit of fun, maybe make some machinima, which I'd love to do, like some videos with this. Yeah. But, I mean, it's fantastic. Look how stunning this looks in the and dark it underwater. Looks, it looks really great above water. You should really see it. It's, it glows. And it looks like, like on the tail, there's like little specks of light as well. So yeah, there's like, little LEDs all across the yeah. fence. It, it, looks, it looks brilliant. I literally, like... I love the designers. There's probably a few things that I would change myself, but it fits in with the theme here, so I'm not going to say anything about my ideas. Um, but the materials for them are ridiculous. I mean, like, I would <laughs> literally cut down on the like the material, either cut down on the amount of materials that's needed, or choose different materials that's needed. 
So, additional to this, we've just discovered something really odd. With a trade pack on our back, we've got these breathing apparatus, because I wanted to try it out, obviously. It's, <laughs> it was doing 5.1, right? Without a trade pack. On the surface, it's going 7.1 meters per second, and underwater, it's going 6.5 instead of 5.1. So it's actually currently out of the box going faster underwater with a trade pack on your back than without. How does that make sense? No idea. Leave a comment below. Question mark? So here we are additionally at um, Abyssal Attack. We're going to do the Abyssal Attack uh, Gilder Star quest. Uh, we've got an oxygen tank. This cost me 400 gold of which I obviously paid to win to get. Um, as you can see, there is very clearly an oxygen tank line going from it to both the front, i.e. the pilot, and the passenger of this mount. Uh, since I've changed it from um, uh, a vehicle to a mount, there's actually a pretty annoying problem. As you can see, I've got a buff on me, and I can actually, even if I target her, if I go under here, she's still depleting oxygen, whereas I am not. I can provide, supposedly, oxygen uh, via the breathing device, which is this. The only thing is, she's not getting it. At all. And there's no button on her screen, because this is no longer a vehicle. There's no button or interaction thing. So she's going to drown, whereas I'm not, even though this is a two-person mount, with quite clearly a breathing apparatus. What do you think, Rose? Okay, unless I'm doing something wrong, this thing is shit. Like, there is no way of me providing, like, I'm targeting you in case it was that. But it only gives the pilot, and obviously, as I can just show you, because this is a mount, you cannot get on the front of this. It's it's not, no. it's, it's not a vehicle. Okay, one, you need to make it a vehicle, guys. Uh, so other people can actually use it as well. It's a machine, like a car. Um, two, if... I'm just saying, if um, I am doing something wrong, I am sorry, but I don't see anything that I can click on right now at all. Um, yeah. If this is basically how things have worked on this thing, then please get rid of this thing. It's not worth the money or any anything. It's fine for the pilot, but the idea behind this mount is that it's two person. That's why there's two saddles. It's exactly. for both of us to have trade packs. But the fact that I've now got to summon my boat to give you a breathing pack just yeah. negates that completely. What's the point in having two seaters when... Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you guys can understand what I'm going at here. This, this thing is... I'm, this kind of really has annoyed me now. I was hoping that the oxygen thing would at least go to the two of us. Yeah. And um, now it's, it's like only I can really use this now. Yeah. It's... It's a big disappointment, guys. It needs all fixing. Say, all I can say is that don't spend your gold stars on this. Don't spend any gold on this. It's not really worth it at all. This is a public I... service announcement, really. Until they yeah. can actually add something to this to make it worthwhile, don't yeah. bother. Yeah, um, don't bother, guys. Wait, if they're going to do any improvements on it, wait until then. Um, and if they do, we'll do another review, maybe. I don't know when we'll I We'll revisit get it, for sure. I would say this time we'll have to either... We're definitely not going to spend... Stuff. Yeah, we're definitely not going to spend a single Gilder Star from you on this until they fix it. So, there are plenty of I mean, other things I, we can I get I you. actually do like the look of it. I actually do want one, but... but it's not I, useful. It's, it's not useful. I mean, like, if I have to do this for... Oh, you might want to do something more. No, go grab a water thing, would you? Uh, an oxygen tank. Um, yeah, like the idea was for us, right, this is our plan. This is the plan that we had for this. To do runs for Guild of Stars or whatever all over the place, yeah? So we would get one of these. She'd have a, a she wouldn't have to have a pack on her back because we'd get one of these water, oxygen things, rather. Then we could go down here. We could go treasure hunting, right? We, um... I mean, it would be at least a little bit more fun that because both of you can go treasure hunting and be able to not worry about oxygen. Yeah. But since only the driver can actually, like, 
do that and you have to like summon your own boat and get a freaking <laughs> tank to go down with him. And I can't do trade pack runs with you unless you don't have a trade pack on you, so that exactly. makes it only one. So there's no point, I might as well just take a clipper and chance it. Yeah, so you might as well take a clipper, at least that way you get, you know, a chance to, you know, you can take more people with you and have more trade packs on with you. Uh, like I said, take the risk. Um, I just don't see the point in having this thing in the game altogether. As, as much as I've now baited them and told them what's wrong with us and we've both agreed on this, I mean, we've got to kind of give this, I want to kind of give this a bit of a review, honestly, and it's going to be harsh, but it's based on a few things. For design, I would say, let, let, let's let you give that a 10 out of 10 for design, right? Uh, for design, um, with the colours, uh, uh, well, I we are not students, so. I know, but it's really hard because I would say probably a seven to eight, from seven and a half. Yeah. Um, because one, I think they should have chose like added more colours, probably. Yeah. Like maybe a dying uh choice on them. Yeah. Than like just giving them three colours. I mean, like it's. Or even crest brainstorms to, so you could put those on the side. That would be nice. Uh, designers, I do enjoy this design, but I think you could like give it more like colour options. I mean, like it looks steampunky, so it fits in with the theme of the game. It definitely fits in in that regard. I think they did a fantastic job with it. Uh, they do with all of the stuff in this game. That's why we play it mostly because it's fucking gorgeous, especially yeah. with CryEngine. Look at the reflections of this in the, in the uh, light. I just like it in the dark. I think that's probably the best thing about this. Definitely. Game. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually way more stunned now by it, but uh, there you go. <laughs> So we're going over the like design and the art side of it, which is you know it's going to get a nice positive mark. You know, yeah. seven is very respectable. In terms of like practicality of the actual machine, I'm going to give this out of the box without upgrades because that's what we're reviewing. We're not reviewing an upgraded submarine here. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give it a two. I was going to be nice and give it a four. No, that's <laughs> just. Yeah. Two, because it only has the purpose of being a slow mount in the ocean as slow as a dolphin, and out of a box you can't really do anything underwater with it, apart from carry a trade pack, but a, uh, a oh, average yeah. donkey is faster. Yeah. So. so I I would actually say that to improve this, just to, like out of the box, either make it faster to get the speed upgrade, or well, actually you could... Keep Allow it to be submersible without breathing restrictions. I I don't know. I I find it very a, a very unacceptable attitude by the designers and indeed the publishers in this country and in North America for allowing feedback to be ignored by many people around the world who are very opinionated on this, only for it to be introduced into the game with very few changes at all to it being completely nerfed, yet still retaining all of the original prices. Honestly, I feel that they should... I don't... I, you know, I'm not asking for all compensation, I'm just asking for them to give me a reason to have this. Yeah, um, all I can say about that is that... I mean, like, with the nerf, if they're going to give it a nerf, then you have to equal it out and give the freaking max or price a nerf altogether as well. Or make this so powerful in its area that it's not too powerful against other ships, but still powerful as a very fast, nippy thing to get between islands or something. Yeah. So, you know, it's still gonna, it's not gonna prevent people from killing you, no. but well, it's gonna make it. It's got a chance. It has that use. You know, I've still got to go to Friedrich and fight past all of the bloody pirates, but this should have been my ticket to be able to get there at least unseen or at least, you know, give me the ability to outskill them. And get past the stupid overpowered radar system that they upgraded cheaply. You know, you need balance in both areas. You can't just have one greater than the other. Anyway, that was a slight ramble, but it's the truth, and that's how a lot of people see this. And I think a lot of people would agree with us. It's nice to have. It's very decorative, but it's a set piece, and it's nothing more. There are better ways and more efficient ways and cheaper ways of getting what you want in this game, especially from trade runs and stuff. So, but all in all, you know, Fairly positive in regard to having them in the game finally, just they're not how I wanted them to be. So, any last words, any thoughts? Don't get the submarine. <laughs>
Sadly, that's what it comes down to. But there you go. Have some fun. Enjoy the enjoy game. Good. Yeah, enjoy the game. Get a costume or something, because that's essentially what you're paying for here. You yeah. know, you can get you can get a really cool costume for the same money. You know, you can go swipe your credit card and probably get literally the costume I'm wearing right now. It's one thousand five hundred gold, whereabouts if you were to get that, which is pretty much the submarine's design cost. So, you know, have some fun in the game recommendations go get yourself a galleon or any of the other things and have fun try and keep the game alive get, get, get a galleon guys probably better than the submarine yeah if you if you want to spend what you did expect is. if you want to spend 250 guild stars on something get a galleon right if you don't need a galleon get a nice house yes and then enjoy the game but anyway from me and Rex no. we will say goodnight and I will try and get this up in a relatively speedy fashion, but we had a bit of a rant and it's worthwhile because there you go, our opinions on it. We said we would make this video, we've made the damn thing, there you go. So thank you very much. If you have any ideas for future videos or anything you want to see in our cage, feel free to PM me. Uh, you know, I, I'm open to any suggestions and feedback, so leave a comment below as well and I will see you next time.